Anuta is a tiny remote island in the Western Pacific. It belongs to the Solomon Islands, but is in fact a self-governed Polynesian outlier, just like its bigger sister, Tikopia, 70 miles distant. Anuta is just one mile long and 65 meters high and has a population of 300. It's probably one of the last islands that still has a Polynesian culture that's barely touched by the Western world. This is due to its extreme remoteness and minimal visitors. In March 2009, we arrived in Anuta at the end of the Lapita voyage. We sailed there on a double canoe, 38 foot long, the whole shape of which was derived from the canoes of Tikopia and Anuta. The purpose of the Lapita voyage was to donate this double canoe to the islanders, so they would have independent transport to other islands, instead of having to rely on very infrequent tramp steamers that might call in about twice a year. Their own canoes are superb, but generally considered too small for long voyages, though they used to make longer voyages in the past. The canoes of Anuta have to land through the surf, as there is no sheltered anchorage. We had to do the same, and the people of the island came out to help. Back in 1995, on our round-the-world voyage on Spirit of Gaia, we had visited Auckland Museum, where we discovered this 9-metre sacred canoe from Tikopia. We instantly spotted its V-shaped sea-going hull. It had been in the museum for 80 years, and no one had realised it answers the question, did the Polynesians have hull shapes that could sail to windward? This canoe proved they did. We were given permission to measure the canoe. And here's the resulting lines drawing. Discovering this unique canoe in 1995 was the first step that eventually led to the Lapita voyage in 2008. When we came ashore on the Nuta, we soon went looking for the canoes. We were told there were 70 canoes on the Nuta. Most are kept in storage, carefully covered in palm leaves to protect them from heat and rain. We found rows of them amongst the houses, everywhere. We were told many of them are very old. To our amazement, we heard there are even two large canoes of 9 and 10 meters long, built in around the 1860s by the same famous Anuton canoe builder that built the sacred canoe we had discovered in Auckland Museum. I didn't realize they had so many. On the beach were the canoes that were presently in use for fishing, about five or six of them of various sizes and ages. We were very lucky that the oldest canoe on the island was out of its wrapping, so we could study it in detail. Joseph tells me its history. This canoe is uh, older than uh, the other one in the museum. Uh, this one they built it in the 1800s. I think the one in the museum was probably built around 1860 or 1870. Uh, maybe uh, 50 years difference between... Uh, 50 as much 50. as that. You see, if it's 50 years older than the other one, it could be the early, early 1800s. Yes. And uh, that's before really anybody's been here. Yes? That's right, before that's right. Before any Europeans came yeah, here. Yeah, before any Europeans yeah. came here. Okay. Yes. How much of this canoe is still original? This one is the original. All the ones with the carving on is original. Yeah. Is it also the top strokes, yeah? Yeah, this one? Yeah, that one. Is yeah. that original, original too? You see the decoration here? Yeah. It's done by another, uh, what's that, a stone axe. Yeah, and it's got these beautiful carvings inside, doesn't it? Yeah. This one is our original design, this is yeah. the original. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, Thank we you. still use it, you see? We stay here, we use it for fishing. Yeah. So maybe a few weeks time we're going to take it back to it's going to be packed up again. Yeah. Later we watched the canoes being launched and taken out to catch the fish. That's an essential part of the Newton diet. They're taken out every day the weather allows. I watched a 200 year old canoe being paddled out through the surf. This canoe is perhaps the oldest original craft that is still used as a working vessel in the world. Amazing. 
by using the canoes for just a few weeks each year, after which they are cleaned, dried, repaired and carefully packed away, the Anutans have preserved the most amazing collection of traditional Polynesian canoes, which would make any maritime museum green with envy.